Hello, Brigadiers and Brigadettes and hockey fans alike. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to my channel. Now let's jump into some hockey content. Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And even though Ralph Kruger was fired on St. Patrick's Day, obviously there is an easy way to ease his pain on this holiday. So with that being said, we're going to talk about Ralph Kruger getting fired and just talk about multiple things about the Sabres in this episode. So the writing was definitely on the wall for some time as the Buffalo Sabres finally decided to give Ralph Kruger the axe. So I'm going to pull my computer up a little bit, make it easier for me. So in 97 games coached, the Kruger Sabres went 36, 49, and 12. And to be honest, I don't think he would have been fired in my opinion had they finished with like the same points average compared to last year. But... The divisions they're in, or I guess the division they're in, is the reason why I think that this ended up happening sooner rather than later. The Sabres are terrible, 6-18-4 this year, and on a normal year, they'd be on pace for 47 points. That is rough. And that's, you know, we're not going to cut it for any NHL team. So let's look at a mess that the Sabres team is right now. The big thing we need to talk about is the fact that Jack Eichel, Taylor Hall, and Jeff Skinner combined for $27 million of the salary this season. And collectively, as a group, those three have put up six goals. Two each. Rough. Sam Reinhart by himself has 11. So Sam Reinhart, if I told you 30 games in, Sam Reinhart would have the most goals on the Sabres team, more than Jack Eichel, Jeff Skinner, and... Um, Taylor Hall combined, and they've all played like a fair amount of games. I don't think you would have believed me, but here we are. And that just shows you how rough of a year it's been for this Sabres team. The thing that's concerning for me is, let's say they didn't re-sign Reinhardt and they just let him walk last year, which is very improbable. Where would they be without Reinhardt and his goal scoring that he's provided so far? That's a really good question. Now, I'm definitely not going to say this is all Ralph's fault, because as we can see, this team has got a lot of flaws that weren't created by him. I don't think they were created by Kevin Adams either. I think this is a process that started many years ago. Uh, when I got back into hockey in like 2014, 2015, they were still a bad team. Also, I might got to mention this, I have defended Jeff Skinner far too long. It's time that that's done. I'm not defending Jeff Skinner anymore. I'm a pretty patient person when it comes to... Uh, this stuff, and usually all the Finn players I like a lot. Jeff Skinner's a goal scorer. He's not doing his job, and without him providing that offensive goal scoring, he is worthless. He doesn't provide value to you. Definitely not enough value to justify his contract. So, this isn't a knock. Again, I always say in case Jeff Skinner sees this, he won't. But if he does, still like you, Jeff. But uh, you gotta get goal scoring, bud, because this is not working. The thing that worries me is his offensive game is dropping off you know, more. Now, next year it might bounce back, considering they go back to playing Ottawa and Detroit, if they go back to the normal division, but if they don't, then, you know, they're stuck in a harder division, if it's this division again. But either way, I don't think this offense is going to get that much better, so that is a big concern for me. This team is a disaster, and here's the thing, I just think that the next head coach is going to get this job, and then this organization is going to make him look like an idiot too. I don't think Ralph Kruger was a moron, I think that, you know, every coach makes mistakes, but with this team, you'd be lucky to, you know, get what you could out of them. And to be completely honest with you, I think Buffalo needs another rebuild. And I know you're probably thinking, especially as a Sabres fan, if a Sabres fan sees this, are you serious? But yeah, I think they need another rebuild at this point. Um, and there's only a few guys that should be untouchables, and I know there's a few bad contracts they have to hold on to, but it is what it is. And like I said, I'm sure there is, you know, a reason or multiple things that Jeff, not Jeff, Ralph's done wrong. But I think the one big thing that really concerns me is Rasmus Dahlin is in his third year in the NHL. And this is his worst offensive season. And defensively, his numbers don't look good. I don't think that's all on him, though. And the reason why is if you look at his numbers, especially like 5-on-5, five five, his numbers are atrocious when paired with Colin Miller. You gotta get that broken up. You cannot have him play with Colin Miller. And they've played a lot of time together um, for the pairing. And that's just not going to work. Colin Miller and him, not working. And so that's got to work. I think that it's just concerning because when you expect these numbers to go up, especially on the offensive side with Darlene, 
they're going down. He's going to average on an 82-game season. He would average, I think, he or he'd be on pace for, for like 33 points. That's not going to work. You know, Dolan's a guy that I think could easily be a 50-point guy every year in the NHL as a defenseman. And as of right now, that's not going to work with whatever they've got going on here. Which I think that's something that whatever they've got here is an issue, which is goaltending. And I'm not going to say the goaltending is all to blame here, as the Sabres have been a bad team defensively, 5-on-5, five five, not a good team. And at this point, if the Sabres don't do a rebuild, you're probably going to need a Jacob Markstrom-esque goalie to come into Buffalo and sign there and cover up your falls defensively and make you look like a much better team than you are because this is not going to work. The goalie situation is not going to work. These guys aren't good enough to cover up these defensive flaws for the Sabres. And the thing is, what goalie in their right mind would want to come to Buffalo? And I, this is not against Sabres fans. In fact, I want the Sabres to win a cup for the Sabres fans. But it's like, what goalie, what good player, I know they got Taylor Hall, but like, what good player in their right mind would want to go to Buffalo right now with the mess that is the Sabres? Like, you've got to fix your name. You've got to fix your image. And I don't know. So to close off this video, there's many things we could talk about that Ralph has probably done wrong. Every NHL coach has done multiple things wrong. You could go and and if you coach one game, you're going to do multiple things wrong. But I can tell you, the next coach, you know, you just fired him. Congrats. But the next coach is probably going to have just as much luck as Ralph had. So, I don't know. Until they figure out things like drafting and consistently getting guys late and things like that. And, you know just being better defensively, they're going to be stuck in this never-ending saga, and this is not going to work out. Sorry, F Sabres fans, but again, the time to rebuild is now. Hopefully, this time they do it right if they decide to do a rebuild. Let me know what you think. Do you think the Sabres do need to do a rebuild? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you're new, please make sure to subscribe if you like this video. I put out content for all NHL teams. Also, everybody stay safe, have a great day, and stay away from COVID, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes, and hockey fans in general. This is your captain signing off. Have a great week.